Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a cook and clean with me and I will be sharing a little bit of a Christmas baking recipe revving up for the Christmas baking season. So inspiring you and motivating you to get your to-do list done and get through your cleaning and set off the week on the right foot. So to be inspired and get all of the things done, just keep on watching. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform in all the Christmas songs. All right, guys, <laughs> starting with my mountain of dishes. I have been putting these off for about four days. Um, when I recorded this video, it was Thursday, the day before I left to go out of town, so I had to make sure that the dishes were all done. This is embarrassing, but this is real, raw mom life. This is like me being very transparent. I had a broken dishwasher. I didn't feel like hand washing the, the dishes this week. I was super, super busy, like recording all of my Christmas decorate with me videos for you guys. So the dishes got, just got put on the back burner. So this is like four days worth of dishes. The repair guy finally came over on like Wednesday this week. He fixed the dishwasher for reals this time. He reset the entire thing. So now I got all of my dishes done and it feels so good, but inspiring you to do the one thing on your to-do list that you hate to do, whether that is dishes, whether that's laundry, whether that's organizing or going through the kids' toys, those are definitely on the top things of my I hate to do to-do list. So this is me pushing you and motivating you to get those things done on your to-do list that you hate to do because you'll feel so much better after you do them. So just trust me, get them done, girl, and you'll feel so much better. Get some coffee and just tackle right through them, throw on some good jams, throw on a really good movie. Those are my favorite things to do to like push me through those really like unenjoyable tasks in the house. But anyways, all right guys, I'm going to let you enjoy the cleaning motivation, enjoy the Christmas music today because it is holiday season, okay? We're gonna we're starting holiday season now. It's Christmas season now because 2020 needs it. So let's all be cheerful and joyous and enjoy the Christmas music. Let me give you a Christmas moment we'll fill with love and joy. Mm-mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. I don't need any presents as long as I spend this day with you. Mm-mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. Chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas a moment we'll fill with love and joy Love and so beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you
family eating Christmas cake And then we go skating on the frozen lake Saying hi to every friendly face And later we warm up by the fireplace Carolers are singing outside our door Lovely songs we all heard before As they walk from house to house To wish us all a Merry Christmas Day Merry Christmas Day A Merry Christmas Day
right, so I am sharing a couple of recipes with you guys in this video. First one being my go-to for a quicker um, dinner. I made this all the time when I was working in the office when I just needed something quick and easy because I used to work until about six o'clock at night. Um, so I would come back and I would make tater tot hot dish. That is one of our most favorite things to make. Some people call it tater tot casserole. We call it tater tot hot dish um, in my family, but it is one of my most favorites. All you need is two cans of cream of mushroom, one can of corn. Other people put like mixed vegetables in there or green beans. My family prefers to use corn. And then a pound of hamburger seasoned and you top it with a little bit of shredded cheese and your tater tots and you cook it according to the directions of your tater tots. So I like my tots nice and crispy and cook all the way through so I will make sure that they have like this really like dark golden brown crisp to them I did not use tater tots this time though because I was out so I used hash browns it was like okay it wasn't the best but um, it did the trick in a pinch and I just needed something quick and easy for this dinner tonight because I had so many things to do I had all the packing to do um, and I had to finish cleaning up the house and it just was insanity so this is a really nice quick and easy meal. So if you guys have hash browns in the house, try it with hash browns, it wasn't bad. Like I said, I like it better with tater tots, but with hash browns, it wasn't bad. Now, switching gears and showing you guys one of my most favorite holiday recipes. It's so simple, it's so easy, um, and we even like to have these just like rolled up in little balls in the fridge. Now, what's funny, okay, is it kinda happened by accident. <laughs> I was following the recipe, and I thought it said roll into balls plural and it said roll into a ball okay and I'll be the first one to tell you that I am not the world's best baker I am terrible but um, it actually worked in our favor because then we could cook these into little batches at like instead of like doing one big batch at one time um, my family will never eat that many cookies at one time so um, it was really nice because then I could cook them into little batches so and like <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to roll these out and like cut them out with a cookie cutter also did not do that So when the cookies were about like halfway done cooking, I actually took my Christmas um, Spatula and I squished them down now the best thing about like this part was that my Christmas spatula has like little um, Like holiday cutouts in it like a Santa's hat and a star and snowflakes and things like that So when I squished them down it like added little like fun Designs onto the top of the cookie and they were still just as good and like I said it kind of worked out in our favor so um, Anyways to do that recipe. I will leave it down below. It was just a Pinterest recipe um, It's just a cup of butter softened three quarter cup of um, powdered sugar half a teaspoon of vanilla two cups of flour um, and that is it and you can add sprinkles or M&Ms to the top and you're going to bake them at 325 um, for about 15 minutes and when you roll them into a ball you just want to make sure or if you do balls like I did <laughs> you just make sure that you refrigerate them for at least 30 minutes before you stick them into the oven and I like to use a cookie stone or a pizza stone um, people call it a couple of different things but they never burn on the bottom with this thing it's amazing so highly recommend both of the recipes to you guys, but that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the recipes that I shared with you today. I hope I motivated you with the cleaning and getting those nasty to-do list items checked off of your list because trust me, I know that it sucks to get them done like while you're doing them, but as soon as they are done, you feel so much better and you can move on and do the things that you love to do, whether that be like a Christmas craft or baking, etc. So get those things off your to-do list and you will feel so much better. All right, guys, I will see you tomorrow for a day in the life, okay? Bye, you guys.